Good evening everyone and welcome along to the channel and a debut here on the channel also which is something quite a lot different to the regular content uh, being golf that is uh, featured on the channel. Obviously uh, as a lot of you are aware I have featured other stuff on the channel before but always reverted back to the golf but uh, recently I did say that I want to try and bring some more stuff to the channel and uh, this is actually before i'm putting the poll out on the community tab but this is one of them uh, i may add it into the tab into the poll when i do it uh, but this is uh this is brewmaster beer brewing simulator and uh, i actually just i uh, saw this game on youtube a while back and uh, completely forgot about it and it was just a few a few days ago myself and a couple of guys were, were talking about having a few beers and stuff like that uh over the weekend and um if you saw my last video, I did pop up a picture of the uh, the physics uh, draft pour machine that I recently got um, for the beer and uh, IPAs, all that sort of stuff, and your your stouts and all. And uh, I thought, do you know what? It's Friday afternoon. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to have a few beers, and I'm going to brew a few beers as well. And I thought, why not do a video on it as well? Now, I have played a little bit in um, in the career off camera already, just to get, a, get used to the controls and stuff like that. But I thought I'd start a new one. Hopefully, I don't mess it up because uh, I had to restart it again when I did. Uh, I wanted to go to sandbox mode to see what all the uh, different recipes were. But uh, without wasting any more time, let's have a little look at our intro here. So, welcome, brewer. You're about to take your first steps into the world of home brewing, a world packed with creativity creativity, discovery, and most of all, excellent beers. Brewing is an art with endless possibilities where true mastery can take a lifetime. Yet at its heart, it's wonderfully simple. Anyone can pick up a brew pot, throw a few ingredients together, and create a tasty, thirst-quenching beer to share with friends and family. So that's exactly what you should do first. Let's get brewing. And we have to brew a beer using the extract brewing method. And uh, yeah, it's quite, um, obviously we're going through the tutorial now at the moment um no we don't get the the brew magazine yet um i have all my controls and all that set up for camera sensitivity and yeah we do have a bit of me i don't know if this music is actually going to be copy copyrighted so i'm going to turn the radio off just in case um but uh, yeah it's a fun little game actually it's quite interesting um i'm sure there's obviously a lot more to brew in beer <laughs> than there is uh, shown in the game but uh, yeah it's, it's, it's quite fun nice little relaxing game so uh, the storage screen is where you can retrieve equipment or ingredients that you own the items shown depend on which storage area you've opened for example the equipment cupboard contains tools and containers uh, to retrieve an item select it like okay so we'll just we'll select that I already know what to do here so we um, yeah we need to put 21 liters of water in here it's a little bit fiddly with the controls here and there in some parts but um we'll just we'll we'll we'll, we'll get through it. i'll get used to it eventually so we'll just speed this up get our, our 21 liters in here oh a little bit over turn the tap off turn the turn the tap off there we go i'll say it's a little bit fiddly jumping between sticks and stuff like that um and different buttons like one button here like uh, to interact with the pot is x but then to interact with the tap it's square so where you instinctively go to press x um but you do get a little bit used to it. right so we're going to pop this over here onto the stove and we are now going to turn it on and we need to get our malt extract from here so some ingredients need to be stored cold to maintain their freshness these are found in the fridge freezer whilst all other ingredients are kept in the ingredients cupboard so that's over just beside where we uh, got the pot from so malt extracts are syrupy liquids packed with fermentable sugars uh, uh, that yeast will eventually turn into alcohol during the fermentation stage they'll also add flavors to your brew so let me see i've been going with which one did i go with the last time i think i think i went with the amber one um in my little offline career so we'll go with we we'll go with the light malt extract. Uh, what am I to get? Uh, two kilos. So two kilos of malt extract. There we go. And we're gonna add this in to into the pot. No, you see, there we go. I'm going to press X instinctively, whereas it's uh, square to pour. So I'll dump the whole lot in. And um, we have to get this up to 100 degrees then. So that is all of that in there. Throw that in the bin and oh what's i want me to do now uh retrieve a bag of steepable grain from the ingredients cupboard so steepable grains are kept in mesh bags so they can be easily added and removed when brewing uh they're used in extract brewing to add flavor body and color to your beer so we went with the light malt uh let me see so kind of going on the light side we'll go with the ultra pale crystal 
uh, and we need 500 grams of that. Five, yeah, 500 grams. Make sure I'm reading that correct. Okay, and we are going to throw that into the pot and now we are going to brew it to our boil it get it up to 100 degrees get it onto the boil so we'll just speed up time and get that on there so we'll do the first two um uh just a just a start a little test a little test run here on the channel see what you guys think of it right we can bring that back down to normal speed um so retrieve one bag of bittering hops and one bag of british hop, british hops uh, so, the main two purposes of hops are to add flavour and bitterness to your beers. The amount of bitterness is determined by the alpha acid content, or AAC. The higher the AAC, the more bitterness the hops will add. So, it wants us to grab 20 grams of any bittering hops and 50 grams of any British hops. Okay, right, so we've got Marauder and Magnus. Let me see. So... The longer the hops are boiled, the more bitterness and flavours they'll add. Uh, but flavours begin to boil off after time, whilst bitterness continues to climb. Uh, this is why bittering hops exist. These are mainly used for bittering and are boiled for longer, whilst flavour hops are added near the end of the boil. Okay, right, so I think we'll take... Let me see... There's a bit of fruit and spice in this. Uh, this Magnus one, it's a German one, so I think we'll take this, so we need 20 grams of this, okay, and we need 50 grams of any British hops, so we've got Polar Down and Rugal, um, so we've got some fruit and spice, some flavour notes, I mean, just, okay, we'll go with Rugal, so 50 grams of this, um, okay, right, so we are going to add the Bittering Hops, so we actually want this one first. We're gonna add that in there. And then we're gonna boil for another 50 minutes. Am I supposed to be taking this? No, I'm not supposed to take that out yet. Uh, so 50 minutes, let me see. That is gonna be 14, eight minutes past two. But uh, yeah, having great fun with it. Try, it's, it's trying to get as uh, close as possible. Some of the measurements and stuff like that are a little bit fiddly. Um, whereas other ones, it can be very precise with them. Um, but I suppose just all down to, I think you can kind of uh, you can tweak the sensitivity of the controls I'll play around with that as well actually I was going to pause that bring it back to normal time and now we're going to throw in our British Hops and I think we do that for another 10 minutes so that's going to bring us back up to 18 minutes past let's speed that up to 100 And then we just pause it, bring it back to normal time. Okay, so continue to boil for 10 minutes. And then remove the bags and turn off the hob. All right, so we're going to remove, remove, remove. And we'll just turn you off. I'll throw all these in the bin. And now we got to wait uh, until the brew pot is at a temperature of 21 degrees uh, or lower. So we need to wait one day for that. So we'll, I should have put the lid on that pot, actually. That might put, uh, that might... Um, What's the word? What's the word? Contaminate. That may contaminate it. Okay, um, so we need to now retri retrieve the fermentation container from the equipment cupboard. So we're going to come over here. And fermentation, fermentation, if I can pronounce that, fermentation con containers are used in the fermentation stage of brewing when yeast turns in, uh, turns sugars into alcohol and CO2. Note, uh, note the attached airlock. This is so that CO2 can escape, preventing any unfortunate container explosions. So we're going to grab that. And then we are going to place that down around about here on the table. And we're going to rotate it because it annoys me that it, put it so puts it sideways. So pop the lid off that. And we are now going to pour the wort into, into the fermentation container. So, yeah, press the right button. Pour that all in there. And we'll bring this off, give it a little wash. Uh, pop it away, we're done with that. Uh, so now we need to retrieve a packet of yeast from the fridge. Um, so yeasts are another ingredient that must be stored cold. They can be found here. Uh, yeast is crucial in the uh, crucial to the brewing process as it turns fermentable sugars into CO2 and best of all alcohol It will also add its own unique flavors to your beer during this process 
Okay, so attenuation is the yeast efficiency, how much uh, of the fermentable sugars it will convert into alcohol and CO2. The remainder will become unfermentable sugars. Okay, so for yeast to ferment the worst, uh, the wort must be within its optimal temperature. Outside of this, the yeast will start to hibernate or even die. This is why cooling the wort before adding yeast is vital. So we did, let me see, 80%, 70%, right, okay, we'll go with uh, this one, 20 to 23 degrees is optimal, 16 to 20, right, we're at about just over 20. So we'll go with the American Ale one. Just need one of those, 150 grams, pour that in. Very slowly, I might add. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way to speed that animation up. But uh, now we're going to pop the lid back on there. I'll throw that in the bin. And now we're going to wait 15 days to let it ferment. Back to 15. There we go. And as you do progress as well, you can get these uh, the cooling things, which you, you don't need to wait the days. Then you can just uh, pop them in, just speed up time for a little bit. Um, so retrieve a bag of corn sugar from the ingredients cupboard. Uh, how much does it want? Uh, well, just retrieve a bag. It says, um, I'm sure it'll tell us here. No, just take out, just take out a bag and add 150 grams. This is the one that I find the most, the most fiddly in terms of getting it right. As you can't uh, just take out the required amount. So just got to carefully just gradually pour it in. Just 149 will do. We're only one off. I'm not going to try and get one more gram up to pop that back in there. And we are going to pop that onto there. So now retrieved pla retrieve plastic barrel and tube from the equipment cupboard. So conditioning containers can be found here. Condition conditioning containers are used in the conditioning stage of brewing where the beer is carbonated. And then we need a tube. So to transfer the beer to the conditioning container, you'll need a tube. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, I think. So let's pop you down there for a second. We need to... Obviously, let gravity do its work, so we're going to take the lid off there. Pop our tube. Or, see, I'm going to press X again. That's the, the only thing that I don't like is that it's... Uh, I keep getting the buttons mixed up. Um, so now we're going to open the tap. And this will take a little bit to do. So, again, we're just going to speed up time. And let it all fill up. There we go. Okay, back to normal time. Close the tap. Detach the tube. Pop that back in there. Doesn't need to be cleaned for some reason. And then we'll pick this up and we will clean that. And pop that back in there. Okay. And we'll just pop this up onto our table. And now we gotta wait 20 days. Even though for some reason, after the tutorial, every brew that I've done so far requires 21 days. But this one apparently only requires 20. For whatever the reason, I'm not gonna argue. While I take a sip of my own beer. Okay, so 20 days have passed, and now it's time to taste it and see how it came out. So, let's see. There we go. Looks quite nice. And it's quite a lot of, you can really customise your, your labels and stuff like that, different glasses. Uh, so it's fairly pale, um, not too much in the carbonation. It's two balls whatever that is <laughs> i don't know what the ball stands for um but clarity is hazy and um, we got a batch size 19.2 liters um so the taste is fairly malty and sweet not overly hoppy and bitter crisp and clean malty and sweet fruit spice 1.84 off and then 4.74 on the hoppy and bitter let me see, aroma even, and flavor notes. We got uh, mint, woody, earthy, grass, caramel, floral, honey, and nutty. Okay, so we matched it. Beer style, American Pale Ale. Mostly, yeah, 78%. And got a 4.9% uh, on the alcohol. So, yeah, the uh, alcohol by volume is the measure of alcohol strength in the liquid, or of a liquid. So, yeah, I've got a 4.9% out of that. And I'm trying to think, doesn't it, does it not say somewhere about if there's any uh, contamination or something like that? I think that might actually be later on. 
after the uh, thing. Oh, contamination actually, 7.4% there it is. So the amount of off flavors in your beer the lower the contamination the higher the quality of the beer contamination can be reduced by brewing good by good brewing practices such as leveling off, leveling leaving the lid off sorry when boiling uh, boiling wort so that unwanted chemicals can escape for a full list see the contamination article in the brewpedia i must actually have a look at that actually because i didn't read that yet but uh, right let's have a little look at our uh, packaging now so the packaging screen is where you can name your finished beer um what is this an american pale ale uh i i could i could sit here probably for an hour trying to uh trying to think of a name um we're, ju we're just gonna call it american pale ale just just for the just for the, the sake of the video uh so let me see american american I don't even know actually I'll find out during editing is uh, this keyboard actually or overlay coming up on the uh, coming up on the screen or is words or our words just gonna magically appear on the screen for you guys I can't remember Sony and their uh, privacy things but uh, we only have the so yeah the style is American Pale Ale uh, we only have the Belgian bottle at the moment uh, let me see so it's an ale so we have stout glass we have a stout glass, we have a, a wizened glass, is that how you pronounce that? Uh, then we have an IPA glass, we have a not like pint, your, your typical pint glass, pilsner glass, tulip, goblet and beer mug. Uh, so let me see, it's an ale. So when British, British folk talk about drinking pints, this is the glass they're most likely thinking of. Therefore, expect to see classic styles like pale ales, India pale ales, porters and stouts being served in them. So we we'll go with that. Uh, let me see. And here's where you can really get into some detail. Actually, uh, you can play around with this for, hour, for hours if you want. Well, maybe not hours, but for a fair while. Uh, for the purpose of it, I think we'll just go with this. And yeah, we'll just we'll just keep it fairly fairly simple. You see, just behind the neck of uh, the book or the stag on the label there, you can see four point nine percent. You can move all you can move all this around. You can change your uh, your fonts. Um, I'm sure if you've heard of this game before, actually, to be honest, you've um, you probably you might you might have seen you might have even played it yourself. But uh, yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. Uh, just chilling out, making a few beers. Um, so there's our keg of our American Pale Ale here, and it gives all the details of what the brew came out like and we'll go and we'll pop this on the shelf here our, our display bottle for our very first brew ever made um so let me see when you're ready advance to the next season and this is where we'll probably get yeah this is where we get the first issue of uh what's it called again we'll find out now in a second okay so this will end the current season you'll lose any beers you're in the process of brewing but finished beers conditioning containers that have been through the packaging process will be unaffected okay all right oh as i forget to mute my mic while i take a sip of the beer sorry about that um so pick up the brewer's quarterly that's what that's called okay so greetings brewer did you or do you know what the best thing about brewing beer is People want to drink it. Few folk, few folks in the world are more popular than a home brewer. I've sent you a copy of the Brewers Quarterly, a magazine run by the Community Brew Club, including yours truly. Each issue contains a bounty of home a bounty for home brewers, recipes, articles, a catalog, and last but not least, jobs. Which brings me back to your popularity. A brewer's services are always in demand, and jobs are a great way to earn an income whilst increasing your brewing mastery. Why not give one a go? Okay, so we have to complete a job. So this is our magazine. There's one thing that I do not like about the magazine. Uh, now, this I believe this has been out on PC longer than a uh, console. I'm not sure, but we'll read this first. At the start of each season, you'll find new jobs, recipes, and articles in the Brewer's Quarterly. These will automatically be added to your journal and Brewpedia, which will subsequently grow as you progress through the game. Um, so there'll be two new jobs every season, each offering rewards such as beer tokens, mastery, and sometimes special items. You're free to complete one, both, or neither. It's up to you. Although for this part of the tutorial, you'll need to complete at least one. Um, so each job comes with its own set of requirements that, you, that need to be met by your beer in order to complete the job. They also have an optional bonus requirement that grants extra awards if met. So we need to track one of the jobs. I think we'll go with this one. This is more, I think this is an ale again. Yeah, it's another, um, excuse me, another American pale ale. So we'll go with an American stout this time. 
Um, so I'll track that. Uh, so now that you have a job in mind, let's pick a recipe. Okay, so we'll click over on recipes. We can obviously use the shoulder buttons after this, but for some reason it doesn't work during this part. So there'll usually be two new recipes in each issue of the Brewer's Quarterly, which are automatically added to your collection of recipes in the journal or in your journal. Each recipe shows the required equipment and ingredients, the steps involved, and the estimated final stats of the beer. Okay, so when doing a job, you usually want to pin a recipe and go through it ourselves. Uh, so yeah, this is an American Stout. This is our recipe. We're going to pin this one. And there we go. Okay, so pinned recipes like track jobs can be changed at any time. You can do this in the recipe section of the Brewer's Quarterly or in your journal. Okay, each of the Brewer's Quarterly... Each issue of the Brewer's Quarterly also includes beer-related articles, which are automatically added to the Brewpedia. Great for expanding your brewing knowledge. Uh, when you're ready, select the catalogue. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll do that in a second. Yeah, one thing that I don't like, as I was mentioning a moment ago, articles. There's no bloody scroll wheel on any of the pages. And as you can see, all the way off down here. Now, I can go into my sentence... Um, I presume this will show for you guys as well. Uh, can I? No, I can't do it here. I'll do it, in, but I can go into my sentence and I can really, I can change the uh, user interface and it zooms it out and you can see it. But I'd like a like a scroll wheel where you could scroll down the page. I couldn't even see it working properly in the uh, in the what what's the called uh, Brewpedia or something like that. Um, so let's go let's go to catalog anyway. So the catalog is where you can buy brewing equipment and ingredients as well as cosmetics to decorate your workshop. More items you unlock as progress through the game. Uh, so it's worth visiting every season. Pinned recipes, yep, we know that. So we're gonna go to pinned recipes. Here you can see all the equipment and ingredients required for your currently pinned recipe, including those you already own. Any that you don't own can be bought immediately or added to your shopping cart. When you've purchased all the required ingredients for your recipe, return to the workshop, it's time to get brewing. And one thing that I keep on forgetting to do is um, collect the, de uh, the delivery before I start to brew. And then I'm wondering where the stuff is. So we're going to need some black patents. Uh, we're going to need some cluster. And we're going to need some rugal green. And some dark malt extract. Um, and it seems as well that once you buy it, that's it. You have an infinite supply of it. Uh, you don't seem to run it. You don't need to uh, purchase new ones all the time. Um, so right, let's yeah. Here's our here's our delivery. So we just store all that, get it as we need it, and let's start brewing a stout, an American stout to be precise. So we'll take out our we'll take out all the stuff that we need at the moment. So we need that, we need that, we need that. I'm gonna assume that um, did I? We'll, we'll put that back. I'm only meant to take one. Um, uh, we'll just put that there. I'm assuming that this doesn't go towards any sort of contamination or anything like that. Having this stuff sitting out on the on the tables well in advance. I assume so. I don't think there's any sort of thing like that. I'd imagine so. They're not that strict. Right, so let's get our 21 litres in here. I'll speed this up again. Whoop. Got a little bit over there. Just a little bit over. Uh, so 23. We'll need to take it. We could leave it in there, I suppose, as a... Let it boil off, but... That'll loop. <laughs> Alright. Pop it on the stove. Um, so, right. We've added 21 litres to the brew container. We'll check that off. Um, add malt extract to the brew container. So dark malt extract we want. So, yeah. I can use the shoulder buttons now. So, oh. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, we want 300 grams of it, I think it is. No, sorry, wait, let me check that. Uh, three kilos. Jesus, 300 grams. <laughs> That'd be very weak. Right, three kilos of dark malt extract. I'm going to pop that in. Have I even, I haven't even turned that on. So let's pour that three kilos in. that done okay so let's no there we go just check that off uh so let me see add steeple grain to brew container okay so 800 grams of the black patent 800 grams of black patent which one is that that is this one 800 grams 800 grams there we go okay let's throw that in there check that off okay so heat until 100 degrees 
and let me actually just go into here heat until 100 degrees then remove that and we need to add 20 grams of cluster and 50 grams of rugel green right so we get those first while we're waiting so uh where are they rugel green was 50 50 grams of that 50 grams of that let's just pop that down just a bit over there out of the way and then cluster we want 20 grams that's that so let's get this boiled up to 100 degrees and then we can add i think yeah we remove the black pattern first <coughs> excuse me and then boil the cluster for 50 minutes <coughs> Okay, yeah, we're pretty much boiling there, so let's remove you. Throw you away, because you're no longer needed. And then we're going to throw this in for 50 minutes. So it's, what, 55, so 145. And then we can add in the Rugal Green for the final 10 minutes. What did I say? Yeah, 45. Let's just go. No, oh, times two. There we go. Hmm. There we go. Okay, that'll do. And let's try. I don't think you need to be bang on precise, but for the final 10 minutes. So we'll just check that off. 10 minutes at the Rugal Green. And that's going to bring us back up to 55. Alright, just pause time there. And. That's that done. So now we need to remove both of these. Throw those away. Oh, the two of them would help. And then we need to cool it. So while it's cool, while it's on the boil, for less contamination, keep it obviously the lid off and let any chemicals and such like that escape. But when I turn this off and it's cooling down, put the lid... I'm going to assume you'd put the lid on. I mean, that's how I do it with food as well. That's kind of what I tend to do. So I'm going to pop the lid on, actually. I'm going to see, just out of curiosity. So we need to wait for one day. Let that cool. I mean, at the end of the day, anything could land in your brew as well if you just left the lid off overnight. Um, so that should be now down to 20 degrees. Right, let's set ourselves... Let's just get all this set up over here. Ready to go. Might as well get, get a little bit ahead of ourselves. Take the lid off that. And pop that on. Don't open the bloody tap yet. As we do kind of have other stuff to do. Take the lid off that. Take the lid off that. Pick this up and pour it on in here. Kind of looks a similar darkness here. As the previous brew. Even though this is going to be a really nice dark stout. I'll throw that back in there. Uh, so now I need to... We've done that and that. So we need SoCal Ale, 150 grams. These all seem to come in 150 gram things anyway. So SoCal Ale. Pour that in. And then we need to wait for 15 days. Let it ferment. I'll do there. Throw the lid back on there. Throw it there and wait 15 days. And now we need to add 200 grams of corn sugar. So let's see. Let's see if we'd be pretty much bang on. Bang on the money with this one. So 200 grams going in. Oh. Oh. Do I dare try for four more grams? No, that'll do. <laughs> 198. We're two grams off. Right, we're, we're splitting hairs with that one. We'll throw that back on there. And I actually thought they should have to leave that for a while. Kind of let it do its work in there. But just straight away, just uh, just we're just going to open the tap and just transfer it. So we'll just uh, speed up time. Get that all out. So undissolved was 870.5 grams. We'll just bring time back to normal and close attach close that lid pop that away again i'm going to press square there to pick it up clean all that pop that up there and wait ourselves 21 days 
There we go. And X. <clears throat> and let's see how our first stout came out. Now, I've done this a couple of times already. But uh, let's see how it came out for the purpose of this one. Purpose of this video. A little debut on the channel. I hope, uh, for those of you who are still here, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're interested, maybe. If you are, do let me know. Drop it a like. One of the best ways to uh, let me know that you are enjoying it. So nice and dark. Uh... I'm going to change it over to a stout glass. Well, that is very dark. <laughs> right down the very dark. And kind of balanced between flat and very high in the carbonation. Uh, extremely hazy clarity. Got a 19.7 litre batch out of that. Um, still quite malty and sweet. It's crisp and clean. Dark and roasted. 3.38 off. 4.99 smoky. Hoppy and bitter. Okay. And then, oh, and we got an 84% uh, American Stout recipe match. So, actually, I missed it. Where was the uh, where was the contamination? We'll have to have a look at that. We got a si uh, 7. 7% 7 alcohol. Uh, but let's go back. Where is the where is it again? Uh, contamination, 8.5%. So, yeah, we're going to have to look into that. I'll look into that in my other career. And... Um, See if I can figure that one out, because it's kind of confusing. Now, I presume, obviously, as we pro progress, we're only starting out. That's probably why it might be, even though it doesn't seem high, I presume it would be classed as high. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so there's our first stout. Let's definitely, yeah, we already know this. We've already done this. Uh, someone's done packaging, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so let me see. It's a nice dark stout. Let's, let's give this a bit of a creative name. Uh, the Dark Side. Because I think it was something like Dark Matter was the name of, um, I should get my keyboard out for this, actually, instead of trying to use the fucking controller, but, no, the dark side, dark matter was the name of the, uh, the job, I think, the dark side, we'll call it, there we go, so, the dark side, American Stout, that is, yeah, that's the right one, uh, obviously, again, we only have the Belgian glass, we want a stout glass for this, there we go, and let's see something dark um we could go with this that's not bad actually yeah or maybe oh actually yeah that's kind of stars that looks like stars to me so yeah i think we'll go with that the dark side sort of star warsy kind of thing um so seven percent american stout let's confirm all that just confirm that and oh yeah this is a job so we can submit this as well um, submit this beer for the job and um, I still have to figure out how you how you fared with submitting the beer actually um, I haven't found out how to how to look that up yet but uh, let's submit our beer the unfortunate thing is that once you submit a beer you don't get to keep a keg of it for anything like that but obviously you do have the uh, the the recipe to go back on right so to submit a beer to a job it must uh, match the requirements once a beer is submitted it will be lost as i just said but you'll get to keep a bottle for it Dis uh, of it to di for display i cannot even read i've only had one feckin beer <laughs> um there are several ways to submit beers and so through the jobs and through your journals so on and so forth and um, so we had sensational citrus which we did not do didn't meet the requirements for that anyway uh well flavor notes of citrus so uh but we did get the bonus one actually an ibu of at least 20 but Okay, yeah, so there we go. We matched the, what was the requirements. That's the word for uh, the dark matter job. Um, we've called it the dark side. So let's submit our beer. Uh, so a local band wished to mark the release of their first record, a space-themed concept album with a beer as dark as the depths of the universe. So actually, I think label and name are fairly... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Uh, but quarterly readers are, were, are invited to submit an appropriately dusky brew. Appropriate. That's the word I'm looking for. Name and label are appropriate. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's that done. And so congratulations on completing your first job and finishing the tutorial. What next? That's up to you. You could try out the second job. Experiment with other brews or even decorate your workshop using build mode. When you're ready, head to the front door to advance to the next season and the next stage of the story. Good luck, brewer. Okay, so let's just pop our stout up onto the, the shelf next to our American Pale Ale. And my OCD, because when I do the next one, I'll have to have it evenly evenly spaced. So we're going to pop it just sort of in front of the, uh, the bracket. Just pop it there. So there we go. There's our 
American Pale Ale, and which what was what was the percent of that? Four point nine percent, and the Dark Side American Stout seven percent. Our first two brews, I think we can actually we can unpin that now as well. Um, so yeah, this is a Brewmaster Beer Brewing Simulator. As I say, some of you may have already heard of and or seen if not even played this game before but uh, i thought i'd give it a go on the channel i say i completely forgot about it just clicked back into my memory there a couple of days ago and i said you know what i'm gonna grab it grabbed it on sale and uh, yeah i've been playing it <laughs> the last couple of nights and uh, enjoying it as i say i have to figure out how to save this career and not overwrite my other career and then have to redo things all over again um but uh, yeah that's where uh, I will leave this video so um, let me know toss down below I say the easiest way just drop it a like um, if you do um, if you do fancy uh, seeing more but do feel free to drop a comment I will hopefully uh, get the poll up it'll be up before this video goes live anyway but uh, I'll, I'll try and remember to add this one in for uh, one of the options but uh, yeah as I say this is the little debut on the channel of Brewmaster uh, beer brewing simulator so that's where i am going to leave this video thank you all very much for watching i hope you did enjoy it if you did don't forget to drop it a like and if you have not done so already or you're just brand new to the channel do consider subscribing and i will talk to you all in the next one until then take care have yourselves a good one and bye for now